My mother was a Jewish woman, and my father was because uh, my mother and I came here to Gilead in October, and uh, I was uh, three years old. I can't remember the the train trip because um, many uh, doctors has given uh, all the children uh, okay. sleeping medicine, so it is good. We came here to Gilead, and we was hidden in the um, loft. Henning, as my mother said, sleep all the time. But I talked, talked, talked. <laughs> and uh, there was, it should be a silent, because uh, the German and the Gestapo uh, all, always uh, uh, go round. So uh, my mother was so angry that uh, they would find us. We would. Many people from uh, Gilelaya came up with uh, carpets, with tea, with uh, food, and uh, told us all the time, you will come to Sweden in a couple of days. A man with the name uh, Sven, he was a fisherman, he came also up with um, old shoes because he has heard many of the uh, ladies has lost their uh, shoes, and uh, when he came up, I ran to him, and my mother, was, my mother was afraid and would take me. But the man said, "Oh, it's a lovely little girl you have. Uh, I have to ask you, can I uh, take your little girl with me at home? My, my uh, wife uh, and I live uh, in a little house near from here." And I would like bring it, uh, her back again. And my mother said, oh yes, so she get a little rest. <laughs> and then um, uh, the next days, the fisherman came uh, several times and took me to the house. And uh, one day, he went to my mother and said, you have to go over to Sweden afternoon, but uh, can I and my wife take your little girl? And my mother has uh, only a few minutes to think about it. She said, yes, perhaps it can be uh, the help for me. And, and uh, my uh, husband is in Copenhagen. You have not to call him. It is too dangerous. So uh, the fisherman said, yes, to take care of your little girl. But my mother said, I come back and I want to get my girl back. Oh yes, of course, said the fisherman. Of course, he didn't know what he had in his hand. So uh, he uh, <laughs> took me <laughs> home, and I'm sure, I can't remember the next month, but I'm sure I have asked for my mother and father many, many times, and I'm sure I have cried many times. But they always said to me, when the war is over, your mother will come back and take you home. Where is my mother? Your mother is where you can see the light in the night. So every night I took, I go to the windows and look over the sea, I look sweet in the light. And I thought, it is paradise. Oh, mother, you are there. He was a fisherman and his wife, and I called them father and mother because I, I was fine. All Gil and I took care of me. They knew I was a little Jewish a girl, but I had live hair, and they uh, all took care. And then uh, when the German came, and I was out playing with other children, and the fisherman. Uh, wife came out and said, sorry little Tobe, come in here a little moment. So it was very, very good. Denmark is fried and uh, what? Now I have to go back to my toilet. <laughs> oh man. Right? And uh, I was out of the plane with the other girls, and then um, they say, wow, wow, we are free. 
and I ran in to Havana and found it. And they also cried. Now Sven remembered. When the war is over, you have to go back. The weeks goes, and then one day uh, uh, a lady came and said, I'm your mother, hello. And uh, he's, uh, she said, uh, now I uh, go back to Copenhagen and uh, take your father, and we come up and then uh, take you home. Home? It's here in Gilelaya. So, um, but she went uh, to, back to uh, Copenhagen and come back so, uh, some days after, very, very angry, and said, your father has found a new woman, I, uh, and I want a divorce. So uh, he went to Copenhagen and uh, got the apartments and uh, my father out of this, and came back and said that now you have to go back with me. And uh, yes, so it was. I give, uh, went with the uh, train with my mother and came to Copenhagen in a little bit of apartment. I was, I have all the eye here, so it was not good. So I said, no, be here. I want to go to father and mother in Gilelai. It's not good for the mother to hear. So um, she was angry, and uh, when her, I have been there 14 days, three weeks perhaps, she said, I, I have to send you back to Gilelai so you can rest there a few days and come back. And the next uh, two years, it was so. Uh, it's the most awful a time in my life because I want to be here, but my mother wants to have me. Then uh, when I was seven years old, she came up to Gilead again and said, now you have to go in school in, Gilead, in uh, Copenhagen. Hmm? I, I came to the school and uh, I thought in my head, I will not say a word, nothing. And I came to school and I closed my mouth in school and then I come to Gilead. In the meantime, and it was beautiful and lovely time. And I visit my mother. My father came often and visited me here. And uh, it was uh, very, very good. I was a lucky girl. <laughs> yes, I was. I am the one of the hidden children. There was um, 150 children who was hidden here in Denmark under the wall. But I am the one who stayed by the new parents. So um, when I was 14 years, Oh, I was dipped. Uh, yes, and um, away with my uh, Jewish name Wasiavski, and then I, uh, my name was uh, Tove Mortensen. My uh, father, my, my father came over to me, and he was a beautiful man. I loved her, him, and um, Ketje and Sven should could not like him because he often says, I want to always she'll be a good girl and do so and so and so. And uh, Sven and Ketcher say, no, it is us uh, to take care. But my father said, yes, but uh, uh, she is my daughter. But when I was 16 years old, they said to him, you, uh, we will not uh, have you to come here more, you have to be away. And uh, I have to say goodbye to my father, and I said, <coughs> oh, I will uh, meet him again. Many, many years, I, I saw him not. And um, I, uh, I got married, and I got three boys. Uh, but in 1976, Sven died, and uh, uh, in 1982, uh, Ketu died. And uh, I have to take 
all her things up and I found a little book where I read my father, Orla Mortensen was his name. He has, from I to from Gilly in 1960, he has called Ketchum Sven many, many times. She had read in a little, uh, wrote in a little book. Uh, Orla Mortensen has been here uh, to hear about me, but had, they have never uh, said a word. I was <laughs> I said, now I want to get uh, to find my father. But um, no. But I work on the hospital in Copenhagen, and uh, the 21 uh, January, I um, had to um, go into a room with uh, four men patients and um, take care of one of them. And, uh, when I was there, uh, the patient from the first bed come in. A old old man, very very ill. He lay down in his bed, and he said, "Hello." And I said, "Hello." And I think I know that voice. So I said, uh, "A moment, please. I have to go out." And I uh, went out, and I, uh, I looked. Yes. It is all that Yeah, I read. Um, my father had uh, cancer, and uh, he has been told he had three weeks to be back to live, and he had to be um, uh, taken over to another hospital on the next days. Oh, so I uh, went home and I said, next day I have to visit my father. So the next day, 10 o'clock, I stood there and uh, I saw my father came out, get a, got a copy of the coffee, and then um, I, I saw what had I to do. Because my father was very, very ill. He could be angry, he could cry, when I said when, oh, uh, I was me. But I, I thought he could also be glad, happy. And I went to him and I said, hello. And he said, hello. And I stood there and he said, do you want to sit down? Oh, oh yes. And I sat down before him. And uh, then he said, uh, my name is uh, Orla Mortensen. Yes. And I said, my name is Jordan Ulsat. So he, he, his eyes was near, he was crying, but then, he said, oh, I have, I have lost my uh, girl. I have, uh, she was, she, his name was uh, Chove. And I looked in her face and I said, and I took his hand and I said, Father, it's me. His face was like a sunday. And we took care of each other. And uh, he uh, want you, do you wish to be together with me the last time you have? And he said, yes. And uh, I got the best three weeks in my life with him. Yes. So um, I'm a lovely girl. Yes. I have got all in life. But my mother is very, very, she has not a good life. She lost her man and her girl. Yes, the war has taken it all. My mother married uh, since a man and brought a boy ten years after. My father had always uh, loved my mother, he told me, and has never uh, married me, M married another woman, always been alone. He asked me the last word he said to me. Why do you not call me? And then he died. 